what is going on youtube so this is the current situation man cold rain it's snowing in other parts of the state vic don't like it but um man we have to come up with something either way sit back relax and enjoy the show Well, it stopped raining a little bit, so I was like, well, you know what? Let's get out here and do it, man. Been about a week since I was able to put one up, man. The uh, weekends around here have been looking crazy. It seems like the days of the week are corresponding with weather for some reason. Like Monday through Friday, it'll be uh, cold as hell. Weekends, it seems to warm up, but then it starts raining. What the hell, man? Anyway, to the topic at hand. Some of you guys out there talk a lot about the weight of your motorcycle. Yeah, I agree. Um, somewhat. And yeah, let me explain. So, you know, the weight of your bike, yes, it makes a difference in a lot of cases on how that bike will handle right like for example uh my ninja hey oh damn look at that dog look at that dog man that's about these critters out here wet road critters running around oh shit we're gonna be all right we're gonna be all right anyway um yeah the weight of your bike right yeah it does make a difference my fc07 compared to my ninja i will i will say is more flickable um definitely easier to handle at a stop especially if you're walking it backwards or something like that but i'm a pretty big dude myself so i can see how that could affect a, a smaller rider um i really don't have too many issues with that um no, i've never ridden a giant well i have ridden a giant let me take that back i've never owned a giant bike like uh like a goldwing or a lot of the harleys out there or some of the bigger cruisers so I really can't speak to that too much uh, but I'd imagine just maneuvering them in and out of the garage and stuff like that might be a little bit more challenging especially for a smaller uh, weaker person or maybe even a female that's uh, smaller but that's not really what I'm, I'm here to talk about right now I'm talking about you guys modding your bikes to save a couple of pounds think about it. How many times have you heard somebody say, yeah, I took the exhaust off. I saved, you know, like five pounds or something like that. Or I did this and I, I took the tail off and I saved a pound or two. Now, I'll say this with a little caveat here. If you're racing your bike at a racetrack, I understand. Every inch, every millimeter, every ounce yes it is important but for you guys that are just riding your bikes on the street especially if you have a leader bike it don't make no damn difference it don't how could it make a difference like you're kind of limited what you can do on the streets anyway right and you know, saving a pound or two on a on a thousand cc bike, you know that's that's not a big deal. Look, look, honestly, if you want to lighten your motorcycle for your average Westerner, American, whatever, lose some damn weight. Lose some damn weight. Starve yourself. Go to the gym. Do whatever you got to do. Lighten the load that's on the bike. The bike is... Look, these bikes have a lot of research put behind them. They spend years on designing them, testing them. The way they come from the factory, 
you know, is the way the bike is meant to operate. Now, yeah, you might get some gains with custom tunes, um, full exhaust system, taking shit off your bike. Yeah, you might, you might, but ultimately, for what you do on the street, does that really make a damn difference? I would argue no. But I'm just a dude on YouTube. <laughs> so take what I say with a grain of salt. Now look, we in the middle of the uh, holiday season. Y'all out there eating cookies, pies, ice cream, damn pork rinds, drinking that beer, you know, going, uh, going on breaks, you know, going to McDonald's, going to the Burger King, eating all that bullshit. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Now look. You're going to spend all that damn money on your bike. All that fucking money. Spend thousands of dollars on lightening your bike up. Why don't you lighten your goddamn big jelly roll ass up and, hey, that'll be cheaper. You might get a little bit more health. Might look a little bit better. That's all I'm saying here. Um... But here again, like what I'm saying does not apply, is not applicable to people that race their bikes or anything to that nature. Um, and I understand, man, I used to play football, dude. I used to damn uh, actually cut out a good bit of my pads on my shoulder pads and my leg pads and all. I would uh, take a scissor to them, cut it up, just trying to lighten the load doing that. Because... It was a competitive situation. Like I said, every every little bit you could get would make a difference. But look, guys, you're riding a leader bike on the streets, or even well, I, would, I would say pretty much leader bikes. Yeah, um, there's they've got plenty of power. Like this bike I'm on right now, this thing has got a tremendous amount of power behind it. And this not even a super sport. It's a sports touring bike. Um, so yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, anyway, this is the holiday season and all, like I just said. Um, not really my favorite time of the year. But this year, I decided to get myself uh, a holiday gift. So uh, that should be coming in the mail. Uh, should be coming in the mail. I actually spent, for me, my broke ass, actually spent a good bit of money on this by my standards. So, um, I hope to share that with you guys in the next few days. Um, I'll see how it works. I had kind of written, written it off, like what I bought was something I said I would never buy, uh, for my motorcycle piece of equipment. But, um, I was like, oh, well, why not? It's the winter. Give you guys something to look at. Have me something ready to go in the springtime. But, um, yeah, got out today, got some riding in, in this crappy-ass weather. I hope you guys are having a good one, man. I really do. Um, let me pull in here and uh, turn off this camera right quick. All right, guys, so hopefully uh, this weather clear up and allow me to ride the bike like I want to ride. But anyway... For all you fat fuckers that watch this video, think about it. Till the next time, I'll catch you guys later.